They know what's up. They know what's up. They tell them what's up. Hey guys, welcome. Hey Charles, how you feeling? How you doing in the building today? I'm good, man. It's a new year. New year. Into February. Mm. Hey man, we just came back from vacation. It's been a long time. It took like a two month break. But um, I think we feel nice and uh, rejuvenated. Rejuvenated, hey, that's the word. Uh, man. Yeah, that's refreshing. <laughs> but um, hey, we just uh, we want to cover a couple of topics. We just recently came back from Oakland from uh, Make History, so we. Man. Hey, shout out to the Bay Area, man. They got they got B boys out there, man. Yeah, no, nah, they they really threw an event. So um, shout out uh, Gideon Swerve. Um, and the rest of the crew, everyone else who put that together. So uh, that was a really dope event. Facts. Um, yeah, and I, was, I, was st- I still need to get my shirt because I was telling Swerve um, that I needed to pick one up. And yeah. that, that man said it was going to be on sale there, there, old <laughs> Hey, man. Hey, look. I don't know. I might have to reach out to someone to see if I can grab me a shirt. Hey, hey Swerve, get this man a shirt, man. Yeah, Come man. On. Yeah, but, but first thing that happened over there... Um, the most anticipated thing of the weekend was the Rad versus the Ruggeds. Man, that was a high battle. Cannot be understood. That was the event of the weekend, the event of the month, the happening of the year. Yeah. I think everybody was anticipating it that knew about it. Yeah. And the more people that find out about it now that it's happening, it, they're watching it with just so much anticipation right now. The video's been out for what, a day? I think right now, yeah. and it's garnered over like what, like twelve k views. So damn, I didn't even see the numbers. I just knew there was hella comments the last time I looked. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was on stance. So, but I know they also posted on Instagram. Uh, so y'all go ahead, follow us there. Follow Rad. Follow the Hot Pot. Follow Sweet P. Uh, if you want to get a good look at that exhibition battle, but um, we've known about that exhibition for about a year, so we just kept lips locked. We just mm-hmm. kept it sealed. Mm-hmm. Um, they said it, it was a, uh, an idea in their heads uh, like two years for ago. For two years, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of crazy Like to think up that battle and say, yeah, no, this is going to be yeah. something that's going to come to fruition. And they finally put it together. Man, guys, so yeah, like for sure, like we got to give you guys like a big cheer. Because y'all, re- y'all really did make something happen. Y'all made history at Make History, man. Yeah. So I want to really give them a shout out for that because that was a really dope event. That was actually my first one. So, yeah, um, first make history. Yeah, yeah. So looking forward to the next one because I should be making that every year. Dude, we should be going was, out there every year. That was my first make history. I've just seen the videos from uh, Make History Volume Two. Like they really had a vibe. The music was another level. I actually like the music at uh, this gym, and, and I know it's been on. controversial with some people, but um, the music I th- I thought they were like more groovy type music I could listen to. You know, you listen to all the breaking mixes and, you know, DJs sometimes throw up, you know, the Mexican, you know, um, or they throw up um, they Just version. Begun. Like, uh-huh. but they, they they throw in, like, all these songs that I, I personally feel very tired of listening to. On the same a, tracks over and over yeah. again. And uh, I feel that we can't actually dance to music that people are actually listening to nowadays. Yeah. We always have to wait. For a breaking track, we always have to wait for this and for this jam to say, "Nah, we're gonna dance for, for, to hip hop and, and you know black music from the '80s to now trap, whatever it is, and actually get down to that." Like that's crazy. Like, yeah, it works. Yeah, no, nah, it worked. It worked, and man, y'all made it work. Y'all made it work. Um, we also had um, so what was the battle? There was the teams. It was Laguette, Lee, and uh, Jesse Jess versus. Rad Sweet P, uh, Rad Jeffro, mm. Rad Floyd. Mm. Um, so, man, yeah. So, shout out to you guys and the Ruggies, man. Because y'all really did give us a really good show. And I think we both, both sides, uh, the crews, they really put in a show for the audience that was there to attend. I know at this event, Lee, he was hurt. He had messed up the inside of his knee, but... Um, I was also hurt, so it it gave us a good handicap. Was, <laughs> like I think we we're evenly balanced. One person from each side, I were like yeah, that, equally just man, that, uncapable man, of going to hundred percent. That man had tape all over his back, looking like he had a bionic arm or something. Yeah, cyborg. <laughs> no, so like, to be yeah. honest, like to see uh, the 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 prep, the 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 showmanship that came from both both crews. Yeah, like, yeah. 
you put on a show. Y'all put on a show, bro. Yeah. Like as a as a spectator, it was just like, yeah, y'all was going off. Yeah. So yeah, I, I know Lee wasn't trying to mess up his knee, and I know he got OQS and all that stuff coming up. And um, I mean, we got other events that's coming up. So I didn't. I was really just trying to train for this event, and um, for some reason, I had lost like fifty over fifty percent of strength in my right arm. So I couldn't do any power this entire event. So I was really just going to go into the groove of it, go into the music. And uh, that was my goal for that weekend. But a lot of people thought I was not injured. Like a lot of people were like, oh, no, you good. Like, but I, I mean, literally the same weekend that we got there, I couldn't do push ups. Yeah. Like nah. I couldn't do a push up this past weekend <laughs> at, at, at Make History. What? Yeah. You couldn't do a push up. Yeah. I knew I knew the the two weeks before, three weeks before, mm-hmm. whatever. You been we went in straight health mode, and trying to take care of that. Yeah, but like, dang, yeah, the, the the same the same weekend. Yeah, and then I threw in like another four hundred bucks into like going to see a sports doctor, going to my chiropractor, going to my personal doctor, because um, I got injured a week before we flew out. And I was just kind of like, dude, I, I don't even know how I got injured, to be honest. But they're saying that I had like slipped a disc like on my C7, <laughs> what? something like that. So, um, See, this is what people do, these, these breakers do to put their bodies on the line for the show. And you got to take care of yourself. Just like your boy Sweet Pete did. How, how, you, how you talking I'm with your me. mouth closed? Look, I'm telling you. <laughs> how are you talking wait, with wait, your wait, mouth wait, closed? Wait, hold on, mouth closed. I just, yeah, your mouth is, you talking like this. Uh, somehow I'm seeing words come out, but. Hey, man. Why are you looking at me too hard, man? <laughs> hey, man. I just, you know, I got to observe I, my reality. I, I know he hears the voice and, and that's all you need to know. Hey, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. But yeah, um, going back to it, Lee was hurt. I was hurt. Oh, we're both injured. And then. We had one handicap on each side and yep. a couple hundred percents on each side, too. And yep. Leggett, hey, shout out to Leggett, too, because I didn't know you were from the islands, man. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that was Caribbean, true. bro. Yeah. Yeah. But look, everybody threw down. And I wanted to say that, like, oh, because everybody threw down. Like, you watch the battle, everybody threw down. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it was the crowd yet reactions, like, even though I was really paying attention, I was, I was trying to film a little bit. But even though I was paying attention to filming it, like the crowd reactions, I could just hear everybody was going wild for different parts of the battle. Yeah. And the energy that you felt not only going to the battle from the from the the audience, but coming from the battle to the audience, like yeah. they were just getting energized. That's like crazy. Every time something came down on the floor, like mm-hmm. they were just getting energized to go even crazier. Who do you like? Uh, I, I know. So I know there wasn't a judge uh, preference on this, but who do you think? won that battle who do you think the crowd i, I thought it was pretty 50 50 yeah to be yeah. honest it, it wasn't it wasn't like wholly one-sided at all yeah and, I, and i'm not saying that to be uncontroversial but i say that and you know just kind of how the whole movement of the battle was going it was mm. pretty 50 50 but i'm sure we all have our own biases so like i'm like oh d- definitely we won but at the same time if i'm being a little bit more realistic about it i would say it was pretty 50 50 i think um both sides brought um, an element of strength and um, we kind of highlighted what each of our crews are kind of like known for yeah like, there uh, were definitely differences like yeah. differences in certain strengths like I think while you know each crew brought some commandos to the floor and they looked tight you could tell like whose commandos were really the the ones to to cheer for like on, on another level yeah um, but then you had some individual uh, rounds from one of the groups and it was just like okay that's next level too so you, you kind of had different things to look at and, and to really appreciate from from either side yeah so yeah shout out man shout out man y'all y'all have me y'all have me uh the whole that was, time that that was me and every other person just looking on the side oh my god yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> he just really did a backflip cancel midair <laughs> they call him midair but yeah, so let's get into some of these battles. So Pro Breaking Tour also had um, the Grand Royal Tour. Yeah. For the yeah. Tour Grand Royal. It was Grand Royal the next day. So yeah. the same weekend, they kind of had a, a, a banger jam back to back. 
Uh, so Make History was on Saturday, and then the Grand Royale was on Sunday. So I, di- I didn't get to see any of the battles. I was just actually asleep the entire day. As soon as I got back, I just passed out. But I know that you were there for some of it. How were some of the battles? Yeah, so I got there, uh, you know, a little early. I got to spend about, you know, three, three and a half to four hours uh, there at the event. Mm. They, it was a nice venue outside, little Filipino spot that was uh, on the pier. And right? you and you met Sway? Dude. All right. So, you know, we got to do step by step. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. I'm, I'm jumping, jumping hey, the gun. Yeah, you jumping the gun on that I know he was so getting geeky. He was, he was getting geeky about it. <laughs> look, so... The venue was cool. The floor was cool. Pro breaking style, you know, they throw pour a little bit of money into it, so they had a nice, yeah. nice carbo floor, it's definitely for uh, for that purpose. I was looking at that big old screen TV that they had too. Man, which way? Wait, which one? So in the background, they had like a projector. LED, they, they got an LED uh, screen, basically like a jumbotron. Oh, gotcha. I'm like, man, we need to get one of those. Them things are nice. Yeah, uh, but venue was cool. Um, they had a uh, uh, Bless One DJing. Oh, so Bless did DJ yeah. at that event. Okay. Yeah, he was, so, so I saw Bless the day before, and he was telling me he was getting back into DJing and everything. And I remember he came out with some mixes, but I didn't know that he was actually DJing this weekend as well. Yeah. And I saw yeah. Cross as well, so it's good to see him too. Good to see familiar faces. Yeah, the, 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 the freestyle session peeps were, were there. Yeah. Um, so... Pretty much everybody who was filming was there too, man. I saw like ten cameras, ten mm-hmm. professional cameras on the floor. Dang. I was like, God dang! But uh, the battles were cool. A um, lot of good entrance. Uh, we saw uh, Valet and, and his people come through. Uh, the Valet, Valet battle with Marcus. Yeah. Uh, oh, you did battle with Marcus, yeah, or did he battle so. with the? Um, I forgot the other guy's name. But I saw them the weekend. Yeah, so they did a 2v2. So I think they all four were hanging out that weekend. And while they did the 3v3 the, the previous day, I think they split up and did the yeah. 2v2. I know Marcus is feeling sick the day before. Yeah, but he, I mean, he still threw down his pre- prelim round. Yeah. I didn't uh, get to see who made it and what the brackets were looking like, to be honest. But, uh, yo, the, the, there were some people there who threw down in the prelims. And I was just like, man, that, that was crazy. Yeah, that's uh, dope. As we know... Uh, Victor and El Nino. Yeah, Victor and El Nino came back again. Yeah, they they took it. Um, I haven't seen that duo since 2018. Wow. Yeah, 2018. Wow. Was that the freestyle session? Yeah, a freestyle session. Wow, yeah. I mean, look, <laughs> they're a powerhouse. We're going to have to talk about them battles later. Yeah, and then who else? We have Zeku and Nels. Zeku and Nels, yeah. They were killing it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who else? Um uh man, I can't remember homeboy's name, but uh uh man's for San Diego and, and dude from Minnesota. They battled it out together. Okay. Two. Um they was holding it down. They they did a good job. Um all in all, like the the, the setup for the two V two, fire. Right? Yeah. The audience, fire. People came out, it was a chill day, but everybody was into it. The music was fire. Um but then they also had a special guest, Sway from Sway in the Morning. I'm sitting here walking past, about to go get me some some snacks from the uh, Filipino spot. And I had to do a triple take. I'm like, they look like, all right, I'm, let me just go get my stuff. And then I came back. It was like five or six people standing around. I'm like, yeah, that, that's got to be him. Like, yeah. I, I had to give you a photo, it's, bro. No, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, 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 let hey, me get that, let photo, me real get that photo real quick. So, so when you first saw him, did you know it was Sway or were you like, uh, I don't like I know. Said, I said I did that. I had to do that triple take. Like I looked at him like like a good two three times. Yeah. Like, uh huh. Like in his face, I was like, yeah. It's funny how it works like that with celebrities. You gotta yeah. like look at him a couple of times. You just don't know. Like, uh, and to be honest, I I don't know where his radio show is, so I just I yeah. never paid that much of attention. But uh, you know, earlier Gideon was like, oh, I got a special guest. I'm gonna be like, how you know him? You know, you know, think about like who it might be or whatever cases. Yeah. And then. It dawned on me after after I took the pick with him and talked to Sway for a little bit that oh, okay, Gideon had a little something up his sleeve, mm-hmm. trying to bring out hip hop. Yeah, man. it's a, it's fun- legends, man. It's it's funny because uh, uh, me and my homie um, So Joel, hey, shout out to Joel because I had seen him also this weekend along with his uh, with his brother uh, Enoch. So I saw hey, so Enoch, yeah, so Soul and Enoch. Hey, shout out to you guys. Uh, it was good seeing you guys. Um, but we were at Red Bull at the North American qualifiers, and 
me and so we we kind of in the back and we just talking and then he looks over he's like hey yo it's like is that what i am so i look over i'm like i don't know i think that is he's like i don't think it is i was like i think it is and i don't know we just kept going back and forth about it which is funny and then i was like all right i'm gonna go ask him so he was like all right let's go so we go over and we're like hey um uh, what's your name? <laughs> it's funny because they're like, you ask her, you yeah, no, it's like, exactly what yeah, because because like, you you don't want to come across like, like I don't know, you're trying not to come across as rude, yeah. but at the same time, you don't want to be like, and oh, I think, wrong I, yeah, yeah, I'm like, I don't want to be just thinking that you anyone, yeah. But I mean, we I, we ask him, we're like, hey, what's your name? By the way, he's like, oh, Will. And like, oh, sad. We just we're like, oh, sad. That's, that's gotta be him. <laughs> like, hey, can we get a picture? <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's it's funny because lots of people get those uh, celebrity struck moments. Like I, I mean, that's like one of my first time realizing that I'm in the same room with a celebrity that I can like talk to. I mean, you know, we we've, we've been in rooms with different Houston legends and stuff yeah. like that. But um, but yeah, that was one of the first times um, being it's, out there in Cali. It's weird to know that, or it's sometimes you don't know who's into breaking to the point where they actually would go to an event exactly an event yeah so sometimes you see um uh, you know Afion crockett he he's a actually a good dancer uh he's a comedian who does like skits and stand up and stuff yeah like that. he's a if you croc wait yeah, Afion crockett okay yeah Afion if you ever if, if you ever seen he had a, a sketch show for a minute um he's well known in the, in the comedian community big deal and this man out here making house videos with with house legends and house dancers on on uh, Instagram and TikTok. I'm just like, yeah. yo, how he know, or how they know, how he know how to do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, TikTok's the way to go. You might you might end up seeing him at a house gym. I don't know. Yeah. Cause it's kind of crazy. Shots fired. So, going on to the new topic. This is a little something mm. that kind of bothered me. Um and I noticed that I came back like, oh, sweet, he's out of town. And some some people from Europe came over to Austin. They oh, battled. Man. They battled at one of our practice spots where no one was and uh, end up, uh, you know, competing at something that Wicked throws every month and ended up winning the whole thing. And uh, they put it up on Instagram and on their story. And they said, just smoke the Austin scene. I mean, the, that's probably not the quote for quote, but let me pull it up. Um, but they're like, first win overseas, smoke the Austin scene. Guys, first, 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 let me address the Austin people. Because this is something that we can't let happen, especially in Texas, as what we're known for. And I know I, I get it. There wasn't a lot of people who were, you know, really heavily involved in breaking that were at that particular practice or at that event, I think especially from Austin, but I saw people like legend from Houston. Mm. Um, and um, I, I mean, that's the only person I really realized that was there from Houston. Um, and some other people like Winston and some other people, I, I haven't seen the battles. I wish I saw yeah, footage. I definitely want to see the footage if there's any, but we can't have people coming in our house talking about, they just smoked the Austin scene. This is insane. Cause um, first of all, I'm going to address this person too. No, let me. All right, I'm I'm overstepping myself. But Austin, this goes to you. You guys cannot let people come in here and smoke y'all, or actually not even smoke y'all. Y'all can't let people come in Austin talking about. Hey, I just smoked the Austin like scene. That, yeah, because because like we that. gotta we gotta put them out on blast, and you gotta. I need everyone to call that person out until that lung is about to explode. Smoke, like smoke, that's how it is. Smoke too. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't there, but that I mean that really made me realize that I really needed to start um, trying to attend some of these things. But I couldn't. I was overseas. Actually, yeah, I was. Yeah. It was the I same day that we had the exhibition. Yeah, yeah, we were in Oakland, and that thing happened yeah. the same day. Look, but to see that on the on the screen, say just smoke the Austin scene. You not in Austin? Yeah. You like uh? Yeah. You ain't talking about me? <laughs> yeah, and 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 I really do wonder if that same energy was being held while he was there too. Yeah, that's cool. like if he was like all love, or is like 
Oh, like I'm about to smoke all you guys. You know how people are. You know they'll 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 say one thing when you're in the room and another thing. But you want? I don't know. I don't know, man. But I saw that. Oh man. Um. So I ain't gonna say this person's name because press some buttons, didn't? It? Yeah. But I mean, I'll say that. I'll say it like this. Hey, shout out to Recon. Shout out to Wicked. Um. But yeah, we can't have stuff like this happen. We need we need a Jesse out there too. I know Nelson was out there. Um. I don't know who else was out there, man. Like, um. It really did look like it was just a regular practice. It was Tess there? Nah, I don't think so. Tess wasn't there. Tay wasn't there. Um, yeah, man. Can't say the scene. The scene ain't there. Yeah, you can't say, say the scene. <laughs> but he blasted it on. Oh, man. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I need to find some. I, I need to find somewhere to sit. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the footage. Yeah, for real. That man. Oh, man. I need to. We got to address this. And then um, I'm also wondering wh- who are the judges or what was the judging looking like? It's probably recon, but yeah, I mean, it was, but I I, I I I look at recon as a good judge. I th- I think he's a valid judge. In yeah, this I, and I know he was uh, responsible. Hosted, definitely, definitely hosted. Yeah, uh, last time around, uh, I think it was. Nah, nah, it wasn't wicked. Wicked was hosting. Nah, I don't know who the judge was, but we'll have to see. What else? What else? What else? Um, so I had something else in my mind. I don't know. They ain't taking a trip to Houston maybe in a week. Man. <laughs> they're taking that trip to Houston. They're going to have a different story. I mean, they, I mean, they're going to have a different story if I'm here. <laughs> Just, yeah, like for real. Like, I, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm dead serious. Okay. Um, even with this broken arm. This broken arm. <laughs> Out of commission. Yeah, but another thing. Um, what else we want to go into? Man, smoke the Austin scene. Oh man, the boys still think about it. Man, that's it's just so bad. I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, but yeah, Austin, you gotta get a little bit more serious about people coming into the scene and wanting a battle. Now, I mean, I I get it. A lot of us like the Austin scene is actually a lot of love. It's people really just trying to have a community and trying to learn breaking. There's not really breakers out here like that, but. I will say the breakers who are You're very active. Yeah, well, yeah. The, the the breakers who are active, the ones with experience, um, th- that's where we have to like pretty much step up in positions like those. We have to really be able to defend the city from evil doers. All right, Dark Knight <laughs> over here acting like yeah, Batman. Yeah, oh man, <laughs> don't play acting uh, like Batman yeah, over here. <laughs> don't take no slack. Uh, look. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man, because... I'm not the hero or the breaker that Austin deserves, but I'm the one that needs. <laughs> yeah, for, I'll, I'll, I'll turn into it. I'll turn into it. We have some upcoming events coming mm. up, so y'all stay attention. Stay in attention. Pay attention. Um, upcoming, we have B-Girl City. Yup, yup. March and then, 1st to the 3rd. Yes, sir. Mm. B-Girl City, I've heard a lot of people want to come out to that one. Um, yeah. For this year so far, and they've even released, I think, an early schedule on what some of the categories are going to be. Oh, okay. So I know they started looking forward to judges, that. and I yeah. want to do a B Girl City. I've never really competed in one. Mm-hmm. I've been to some, but I haven't competed, which is just a big disappointment to me because I want to support Baby Girl and, and everything she's that she's done. An incredible event, yeah. A combination of events, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. But B Girl City is coming up, so be sure y'all go to that in Houston, Texas. That's going to be um, March 1st to the 3rd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then um, we got um, we got Breaking for Gold is also happening. We have what? It's a 3v3? Dude, I think it's going to be uh, like a 6v6, bro. Like, well, who's a 6? Uh, it's, it's, it's a plethora of people, bro. They're going to do 1v1s um, that are already matched up. Um, they actually have it on the, the Instagram already. And then they're gonna do a crew battle, Japan versus USA. So let me see it. I man, this thing this gonna up. look crazy. This thing gonna look nice, man. Uh, the matchups are Isen versus Jeffro, Ayumi versus Pepsi, Hero Ten versus Gravity. Uh, oh, wait, wait. before before addressing individuals, mm. um, who's who? What's the U, what's the USA? So it's, it's Japan versus USA. Yeah. Now, um, before we do the matchup, 
who are the USA team? Who's on the USA team and who's on the Japan team? So, so these these one v ones and the crew are going to be the same people. And what's going to happen is they're going to do the one v ones with these matchups, but they're also going to do the crew battles right as a group. Um, but it's going to be the same individuals. So um, for Japan, you got Isen, Ayumi, Hero Ten, uh, Rat Rat One. Uh, that's the first time I'm seeing this dude's name. Uh, Rico. Rico's uh, good. Ami and uh, Shinga Kicks. Uh, that's a pretty solid. Yeah, that's, that's a solid, solid squad. squad. Yeah. Uh, you, you said Hero 10? Yeah, Hero 10. So wait, Hero 10, Ami, um, Rico. Um, mm, yeah. Actually, I don't know. I don't know who this person is. The Rat One? Yeah, that's, that's a new name yeah. for me. All right. What about USA team? So US. We got B-Boy Jeffro. Next up, we got Pepsi. Hold it down for the ladies. Uh, Gravity. We got Kid Break. We got Pebbles. And Logistics. Lastly, Victor holding it down. So that's also a solid squad. Um, good luck to you guys out there. Good luck to you United States yeah, citizen, the United States team. Um, it sounds like a solid squad. Yeah. I, I, I like. hope they televise it and, and put a lot of Oh, they, they definitely Gotta. should. This is Red Bull? I've all, no, this is uh, WDSF. Oh, break, yeah, it's yeah, WDSF. Uh, actually, I think it's the, the Japanese uh, breaking for gold that yeah. is putting this on. So, I think that's that's mainly Katsu one. So shout out to Katsu because mm-hmm. he does a good job putting the production and everything together. So Yeah, we're going to need that link. We're going to need that link. Yeah. Please stop. Putting it on the Olympic website. <laughs> it's so hard to access on there. I don't know why, but like trying to get video and everything, it just they just make it a hard time. Look, if I can view it, that thing can record it. <laughs> all right, so all right, let's go to the one v one. Um, who's who's the one v one team? So that first one we was looking at was pretty pretty interesting. We got Eason versus Jeffro. Okay, I'm looking at it. Yeah, so. I can't remember if this Eason, happened. Eason's made tremendous improvements yeah, on man. his skill set. Yeah, um, both of them appeared in the, yeah. the last BC1 finals, right? Uh, Yeah, yeah. So World final, yeah. Yeah, two like world-class caliber uh, breakers right there, man. And you already know Jeffro. Jeffro, he's got a tremendous skill set. Um, Quite interested to see some of the new stuff that he's been working on. Um, But yeah. Yeah, Eason versus Jeffro is going to be a fire battle. Actually, though, that's a very, you know, you're, you're kind of seeing, uh, that's a very big contrast of skill looking at that battle because mm. Eason is more blow-ups. Jeffro is more like uh, like critical skills. Like he's he's one that's to be given the attention when it comes to detail. Dynamic fundamentals, I would like to say. Yeah. But, All right. Uh, next up. We got the ladies with Ayumi versus Pepsi. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a nice one. Yeah. I, actually, I feel like I haven't seen Pepsi in a minute. You know, the last few times I've seen um, Pepsi do battle, she's been really good and being consistent. Yeah. yeah. Um, and she did good last time, I think, at the WDSF mm-hmm. yeah. uh, event. No, nah, she's been, she been holding up for real. Yeah, she got what? Uh, didn't she get like second or first? Hey, don't ask me, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, hey, look, I won't remember. But Pepsi versus Ayumi, that's going to be a hype battle. And Ayumi, man, Ayumi, you're putting in some some work at at her age. Mm-hmm. Like Ayumi is definitely killing it. Um, I know some of you guys out there want us to be very negative today. Uh, I, I don't feel like being negative. It takes too much energy. <laughs> I don't feel like <laughs> trying to trying to say the most controversial things. But I I, I want to give people their shine. I'm, I'm looking forward to what this is going to look like. People got skills. That's all that needs to be said. Yeah. Now we got Hero Ten versus Gravity. Look, I, I this Hero Hero Ten is like sugar kicks, but on steroids. This is, this I think is why I'm like, I don't know. Japan stacked, man. Yeah, <laughs> Japan stacked. So Gravity, legend, still killing it to, to the highest level. Gravity's made some great improvements too, and he's. And he's still fat. Like, you see how fast this man is? He's fast, but it's... I've seen some changes in the way that he hits his freezes and mm. some stuff like that. I've, I've seen, I guess, 
a more dynamic range of freezes from gravity more recently. Yeah. And it's kind of given him more of the edge, I, I guess, over some of the other competitors. And he's defined. Like, yeah. There's some times where I'm like, okay, you can tell the people he's kind of figuring out how to get out of stuff yeah. in and out. That he's comfortable. He's comfortable with he's what he got. Very comfortable. Yeah. Um. So Hero 10 versus Gravity. Hero 10. Oh, my God. It's not, it's not like you're leaning towards Hero 10. Well, here's the thing. I think depending on the moments, Hero 10 gets um, moments that come either from music or I don't want to say luck, but like there's there's a moment factor to Hero that just yeah. makes everything just blow up. And you're like, oh, my God. And, you know, sometimes it's like still crazy, but not not the same as those particular moments so it really depends on the moment but hero definitely pulls out some stuff i'm kind of looking yeah. at eason and jeffro versus uh the hero 10 in gravity battle i'm like who got it harder <laughs> jeffro or gravity jeffro versus eason gravity versus hero 10 that's gonna be that is a hard one yeah like who has it harder i don't know yeah oh uh, I think Hero 10 might be a little bit harder. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you. Just, just because, I, like I said, I, I think, um, um, what's his name? How am I forgetting his name? Sugar Kicks. Mm -hmm. I think Sugar Kicks has, you know, he he's very, like, well stacked. He's, he's able to do everything, and he's always clean, mm -hmm. like, which is... I hate using that word clean. Like that doesn't mean that doesn't mean anything to me. Um but he's very sharp, I guess. Like hero like Shiga Kicks is very sharp and the thing is Hero 10 is just like Shiga Kicks, but I think he's a little bit more dynamic. Mm. Which is crazy to say. Like Hero 10 will hit all his stuff. You know what's funny is I, I get where you're coming from with uh, the comparison to Sugar Kicks, but I almost find how I feel watching Hero 10 and Sugar Kicks completely different. I, I agree. You know, I agree. There's, there's a feeling that I get from Hero 10 that is just like you're seeing something that looks hard to do and is complicated. Like there's, mm -hmm. a, there's a way that he does his movements that mm -hmm. make you go, wow. Whereas Sugar Kicks... Does all his stuff. The craziest things that it looks like he's it, done in the it, world. But it, looks it looks like so all checkbox. They all look like checkboxes. It looks so easy to him. Yeah. It kind of makes you feel like, oh, yeah, that's sugar kicks. That's what he does. But I wouldn't even say, like, easy. A lot of it just feels, like, very mute. Like, I, like, like it's like I, I'll watch you do a whole bunch of intense stuff, but I just feel mute about it. Not not, not mm. to be negative, but, like, I mean, I mean mute a in a way thing? where... Well, it's, it's just none of it really sticks to me. Mm. Like, okay, I did this. Next thing. Oh, I did this. That's, that's, but with yeah. Hero 10, I think you get to see small distinctions between each and every move set. Mm -hmm. That's why maybe it might stick out a little bit more. But I, I don't know. That's just probably me. Yeah. But that's the way that I look at it. No, I, I'm right on board with you. Um, all right. Uh, Ray 1 or Rayon or mm. Ray 1, I guess. Ra 1. Uh, look, Raw One versus Kid Break. Um, I'm not sure how old Raw One is uh, in comparison to Kid Break. Hey, but Kid Break, go ahead, kill it, man. Do your mm. thing, man. Yeah, we know that. Man. I'm, I'm a fan of Kid Break. I like him. Um, yeah, we're going to see how that looks. Rico versus Pebbles. I'm going to be honest. I'm not familiar with Pebbles like that. Like Pebbles Love? Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with her game. Like She's good. She's good. I, I, but I think I'm in the same boat as you. I don't mm. think I've seen enough of Pebbles to really understand. Mm. But I have seen lots of Rico, and mm -hmm. she is insane. Man, something to watch. It's crazy. You got They got some good matchups, though. Yeah. Next, we have Ami versus Logistics. This is a good one. That's going to be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's a very good matchup. Um, I'm kind of not leaning either way on this one. Uh. I like logistics dynamics. Yeah. Uh, but Ami is Ami's I, I know we've talked about like breakers who are able to do enough and right. know it's enough. Uh-huh. And I think Ami's one of those. I feel like logistics the same way. Mm. I feel like logistics, she can go 
a certain amount of rounds and be like, all right, this is good. Mm. She knows when she's done enough, mm-hmm. but who goes first? Uh, so I, I guess it's going to be kind of dependent on who starts off the battle because mm-hmm. you get to gauge your opponent right then and there. But the battle dynamics, man. I, I think logistics might be cleaner than Ami. <sighs> Why did I say clean? <laughs> <laughs> logistics is a little bit more sharper. I'm gonna okay. say that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and use a different vocabulary instead yeah, of clean. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to use clean. I, I, I hate why. that word. I hate it. Oh, he doesn't want to take a shower. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't worry. I'm very clean. I'm very clean. I'm a clean person. Mm, I thought you were changing your vocabulary. Um. <laughs> yeah. Next and then up. we got sugar kicks. Sugar kicks versus Victor. And this is the, this is the last battle on the rap sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Who do you think? Shake kicks or Victor? Uh, I mean, those are the two normally, confirmed. Those are the two confirmed uh, uh, Olympians. Yeah, at this point. but normally I think Shake kicks would have the edge over Victor. Now, as as great and amazing as Victor is, um, I'm, I'm a big supporter of Victor. I like what he does. Um, but I think Shake kicks usually have an advantage over him. But in terms of difficulty. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I, I'm, I mean, kind of like an overall stat. Like yeah. when it comes to freezes, when it comes to difficulty, um, a lot of even dancing. He's got a lot in his back. Even dancing. Uh, I probably would say what hurts Shinga kicks the most is there's too much character in his dancing. No, I would say a lack of a certain dynamicness to to tempo um, to there's there's presentation there, but there's there's something about when people change or react to the music a little bit more, or you can see they're really in tune. That Shin Kicks seems to be missing out on, especially from a judging standpoint, because I've seen a lot of times where he he seemingly gets robbed, and I, those are the reasons I can come up with that he doesn't get the votes. But I feel like those are usually from those mute moments. Mm. When you see him hit one thing and he is another thing, like he just hits one thing after the next and there's no real time to digest each movement in between this. It's one thing after the other. Yes. So I yeah. think that's what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to the actual feeling of watching Shiga Kicks dance versus Victor dance, I can see Shiga Kicks actually doing more of a dance. Mm versus what I would see from Victor. Now, what I would say with Victor is I think Victor has a much sharper approach to battling than Sugar Kicks. Mm. Um, so he's more tactical when it comes yeah. to battling. But Who do you think has more fun? I think Sugar Kicks. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, because that's what it just looks like. Yeah. It just looks like, you know, he's always smiling when that's he's true. doing all his power. Yeah. And when you think he should be tired, he's still smiling. Energizer Bunny, man. Yeah, I don't so. Know what this guy is. But, but I think Victor, he does have some points over him when it comes to creativity, you know, battle tactics. Mm-hmm. Battle tactics, um, for sure. And, and it really depends on how the judges are going to score this. But overall, I think. Um, it's it could be a very close battle because mm-hmm. um, you know you've seen Victor won some battles in the past. You've seen Sugar Kicks won some battles over Victor in the past. So it's gonna be a really close battle. Um, we'll see, it'll be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, yeah, yo. Oh no, I didn't hit that. I didn't hit that. Wait, hold up. Yes, sir. Hold up. Don't don't hit it again, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> It felt like he got shot. <laughs> All right. Going into a new topic. This Ooh, one. What it is, what it is. This one is going to be, who's your anime crush? <laughs> Don't tell me that's why you added that sound effect. Don't tell me. <laughs> All right. Um, anime crush. As I was growing up. I almost sent you something today, bro. That was, you know, that you know exactly who. Exactly this topic. You know who. A lot of people might have a problem with me saying this, and I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say Amy Rose. Oh my God. Or or Rouge. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Look, I ain't gonna lie. Rouge. <laughs> That's how the convention two battle. Yeah. Hey, it's how the convention two hey, battle man. put us on. Hey, hey, and she had the best music in the game. I ain't gonna lie. They they made her sexy. They made her sleek. 
Hey man, you calling a, a cartoon bat sexy? Bro, you wild. Bro. Down bad. Uh, down, down bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sal, down bad. Hey man, I don't even tell us if you agree with this bad or not. Because hey, like, look, I can't cap actually. No, man. yeah, because no, we God. know you be watching more edgy or stuff than me. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, no, who showed me prison school? Um, that's only one show. I'm just saying, who showed it to me? But you watch, oh, you want me to name all, this, <laughs> all the stuff you watch? That's the only thing I've watched. But that one was pure comedy. That was comedy. I, I, I watched that one for that, pure hey, that comedic was the entertainment. That's show I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, like, oh, uh, honestly. But when it comes to down bad female characters in anime, um, who else would you put on that roster? Yodoichi for sure. Yodoichi is definitely on there. I didn't there. even watch Bleach. I'm going to be honest. I didn't even watch that. And you know who else from uh, Michiko from Michiko Hachi? Dude, I, I'm telling but you. But she's, she's just like, these bad women. Like, it's just hey, them artists, bad company. Them, them artists were, were very skilled. They did their research. All right. All right another one I would say is Bulma. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you talking? Hey, tell me if I'm wrong. Bulma was all a right, baddie. Right, from what era? In, in from Dragon what era? Ball. What era? Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, okay. Drag, I mean, she was. What about Chi Chi? Chi Chi, no. <laughs> nah, she was not when she was younger. <laughs> and she just turned into a, a very, very hostile mom. <laughs> All right, who else? Who else? Ooh. Oh, man. Look. Uh, the, the nurse from Pokemon. <laughs> nurse Joy? Nurse Joy. Oh, this man. <laughs> hey, hey Brock, Brock saw something. His eyes was closed, but he saw something. I'm just, I'm just. Nah, nurse Joy ain't nothing. Yeah, nurse Joy, she no. ain't nothing. It's, it's almost like saying, you know, you see something in Taylor Swift, like. Don't even, don't even <laughs> come here with that. <laughs> don't even exactly. That's the exact sound effect for what you just said. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, I'm, no. I'm seeing the picture of Taylor Swift in no. my head. I'm like, <laughs> it's just not gonna work. Um. <laughs> But yeah, y- Yodoichi. Yodoichi. Yeah. Um, who? Oh, the girl from what's that school? Uh, not um, the show called. It's uh, God dang. Which one? What's the uh, what's the premise? It's six episodes long. Uh, Fully Cooley. Fully Cooley. Yeah. 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 Nah, she was crazy, bitch, bro. <laughs> she was but crazy, she bro. looked good. Her and um, the girl that smoked the cigarettes. I what thought you, I thought they were cute going, characters. Yeah, you gotta say cute because we did it in the wrong. Well, actually, no. But the crazy girl, I thought nah, she was actually nah, good. Nah, 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 nah. You see that crazy wild face? That that was immediate no for me. All right, all right. Um, mm. All right. What about? And uh, this might not be. Oh, well, I guess this would be. Still, this would still kind of be considered anime. But what about Toadette? <laughs> <laughs> I know you is it Toadette? I know, I know you can't be serious right now. Toadette, bro. I know you cannot be serious. Right bro, are you serious? What are you saying right now? Yeah, Toadette, bro. <laughs> <laughs> toadette. <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> 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 no, nah, hey, hey, if we're going in that direction, yeah, we're talking about bird oak. <laughs> it's, uh, that's not... <laughs> And I know you're not lying. Hey man, nah, nah, I know nah, you would have given Birdo. Nah, 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 just nah, take nah, a good look nah, at Birdo. Nah, nah, but uh, <laughs> 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 hey, hey, that wasn't my idea. <laughs> All right, I, I give you two two more to put on the list. Oh man, look, you put me on the spot right now. Well, you got Yu Yu Hakusho. You have Cowboy Bebop. You got shows like what other shows? I'm trying to go down the list. I don't even know what I watch. I watch a lot. Oh, of shows. I just don't you remember. got. This might sound kind of bad, but Heavenly Delusion. Heavenly Delusion. Oh no, no. <laughs> no it's a girl. Hey, hey, First person hey, is a girl. Hey, spoilers, but no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, what's what's the girl from that? Um. Um. Kingdom of Ruin. Kingdom of Ruin. Oh, and I mean hey. both of them. The oh. the girl at the start. And the girl 
Nah, I don't like a ditz. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't like a ditz character. Like you, a you ditz character. Ditz. Like what's that? As in clumsy. Don't know what you're talking about. All feeling. No. No logic. Like you gotta have some. You gotta have some sustenance, right? He likes. He likes a yeah. matured, well sustenance nah, woman. They. they, they they had the most beautiful, nurturing, caregiving uh, uh, character at the beginning of King of Ruin, and they was just like, "Nah, we we going we gonna murk this man. Like, she ain't like, that pretty. She ain't that pretty. Like, what? <laughs> like they just did the most shocking thing they possibly <laughs> could do. Yeah, with the first episode, and you're just like, "All right, Attack on, on Titan." Attack on Titan. Honestly, the crazy thing about Attack on Titan is like you're so in it for the story. Sometimes you're not even really looking at like. But do you, you think know, there's like a pretty that. girl? There's a pretty girl in Attack on Titan. Yeah, of course, of course. Who um, would that be? I w- I would definitely say Mika's is on, on that list. Um, Historia is on that list. Um, What's the girl that like to eat? Um, oh yeah, Potato Girl. What's her name? Dog, I can't remember. Her it's name. not Hanch. Sasha. 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 Yeah, yeah. Han- Hanji. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, how's he crazy? But she a bad bitch. You know? like, Where is the voice so dumb? His ass so dumb. He's like play doctor in the bedroom. Yeah, oh my god! Man, oh, to dang, do that's why you like Nurse Joy. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's talking about her. Oh, man. All right, then. Um, all right. Here's the thing. Who do you think is the freshest anime character? Best dress. Best dressed. Yeah. <laughs> I already got one for the list, bro. Who? You already know. And if you don't know, shame on you. Lelouch. Lelouch from Code Geass. That man was the freshest. I ain't that fresh. The coldest. I ain't that cold. That man was a prince and was like, yeah, y'all ain't treading on me. The only one that you need to be saying is JoJo. Come on. That boy JoJo was strapped no, up. No, nah, no. Nah. That boy had the cap. That boy, you only can see one eye. I'm talking about a son of JoJo. Yeah, cause which one? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I don't. I don't. But it's, it's the one that had the that captain clothes on, the one mm, with the hat. Mm, blue. Um, yeah, blue. Blue long coat. Yeah. 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 Um, you also got Yusuke Urameshi. My boy Yusuke, man. That boy Yusuke was fresh dressed. You know the crazy thing with Yusuke is that he he always had his uniform clean. It wasn't the cleanest uniform, my opinion. No, but he but did, he always had it clean in the way he carried himself, but, being the freshest person in that whole. Show. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but he also never wore like well, when you get further along, like he's not wearing uniform, like he's wearing like a t shirt, some jeans, glasses. That man just just cool. That man cool. <laughs> just man just cool like that. Him and uh, he a. Mm-hmm. I'd even say uh, Karamas too, but. Uh, Kurobara, I mean, it's, yeah, he's he's an ugly character, but you 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 get you start you to like she. like some of the ugly characters. I don't know. It's like <laughs> he was endearing after a while. Yeah, like, you, it's like he's like one of them friends that might not look the best, but you know you love them for he, them. He got soul heart <laughs> principles. He'll hold you down when nobody else will. Hey man, that's that man Kurobara. Mm. Freshest characters though, man. I gotta I gotta think back to. Uh, some some other characters, some some shows. The crazy thing is, I had like a phase where I watched a lot of anime, but it goes in and out until I come back and see like the material of it, right? If I yeah. see like a cover. But uh, when I come back to is Trigun. So like Vash, that man. Oof. Oh Vash, yeah. Oh, and also, have you seen that other show? There's another show, the Gangsta. Gangster. Oh, now yeah, there's a yeah. dude with the dreads and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Or actually, the main character too, the death guy. Death, death guy. Yeah, yeah he's, he, he's pretty yeah. dressed. He's 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 pretty fresh. Um, I'm trying to think who's <laughs> now. Now, if you want to go straight bling, you got to say Gilgamesh from uh, uh, Fate. <laughs> the Fate. Uh, oh, from the Fate. Works. Dog, that man, gold everything. That man did not care what you was saying when he was, he was the epitome of kingmanship. Like mm. he would just rain down golden swords on you, just out of pure whateverism. That man was fresh. Now, yeah. do you think who 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 out of these dancers, or actually who out of these characters, would be great dancers? Ooh, out of the ones I've already said, probably Vash. <laughs> I can see, I can see Vash pulling a move. Let's say Mugen. Mugen Cal- for sure. We, we yeah. know this. 
Now, will we consider Samurai him, Champloo? Will, will we consider him fresh? I would say he's got a rough fresh freshness mm. about him, because you know they they lived in like feudal Japan, so that's true. they had a different style back then. So maybe he is more considered more around the edges. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, but that man, that man could get down for sure. Yeah, yeah I think he could get down. He'd be a hard dancer to beat in a battle. That man trying to cut you while you battle. <laughs> You got yeah, yeah for real. battling back in the nineties. Then you got oh, I'm, I'm, I can't believe we're getting. Uh, there's a whole bunch of great looking characters, like down bad characters on One Piece. I mean the oh come on. Come on. <laughs> uh, you know what? The funny thing is, I'm actually surprised now that you said that that you didn't bring these in. Yeah, I don't watch that show. Right, I'm gonna just tell you right now. That, that's mm-hmm. not a show I watch. <laughs> <laughs> One thousand. 80 something episodes now I think it's like 1,090 1,090 or something Damn, like that they want you to watch one. Man we doing good on Egghead right now one Egghead is going 100 up 100 episodes bro come on Yeah man That's crazy Hey but don't hey. say Bonnie she's hey. underage <laughs> <laughs> Even though they make her look like she's like some full grown adult Which is insane I hate when I anime hate, does I that hate. When, when they I make like oh like this is my mom and she's like this little girl that's like three feet tall. Uh, nah. But I, what I was gonna say is that Sanji's a great dancer. I'd say Sanji, yeah, he'd yeah, be hard to be in the I've dance battle. A, I've seen a clip or two. Yeah. Um, nah, you know when one thing that we didn't even mention uh, was talking about uh, the, the the white Power Ranger with the black and gold. Oh yeah, all right, no, yeah, yeah he's man. fresh dressed. Yeah. Yeah, that boy, that boy peace up. Hey, all that man got to do is hit a pose. Yeah, for real. I would, I would actually show up to church with that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> that man, that man, freshed up. That man, that man's ready for the Lord's presence with that. All right, two more, two more. Mm. Fresh. Look, okay, we got to go with Mario. Mar- you think Mario fresh? Mario would hit a lick on you, bro. He he would drop. Oh, wait, wait, you mean dancing or dancing. fresh? Dancing. Okay, then I go with Sonic. Yeah, Sonic. Sonic is both. Sonic is definitely both. That man hit some mills, a flare, and then hit some new move. Ain't no breaker ever did called the yeah. spin spin. <laughs> Wait, but when you say, you, are you saying he's both fresh and, and a good breaker? How are you fresh? He's naked. <laughs> hey, hey, I see, hey, I see where your head going. Hey, no, 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 nah, 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 he said nah, both. Nah, nah. Hey, you, <laughs> you, you, brought you up know he's naked. Nah, nah, you brought up this detail. You, hey, nobody was thinking about. Everybody hey, think about that. Think about this. Everybody thinks that Sonic hey, is yeah, naked. It, this is what you think about when you think about animated characters. Oh man, oh, the oh, only thing, dastardly. the only thing Sonic oh, got on his dastardly. shoes is socks hey, and, his, and, <laughs> and gloves. Hey, hey, <laughs> and, and his sneaker collection is the freshest we've but ever seen. But he's still naked. Nah, 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 son. You seen that? That look how you went from the classic red and white to the to the sneakers and Sonic on adventure. Battles. Yeah, but then we went back to the red and white. That, that man has. But guess what? A sneaker guess box what? set up in his room. We know that. Hey, but guess what? He's still naked. Shut up, Barry. Shut <laughs> up. He just got <laughs> shoes on. <laughs> Shut up, It'd be like you walking around the, your house with like nothing but shoes on and socks. Like that's Sonic. Hey, this man. <laughs> Do man, man, This man <laughs> is an animal. Okay, this man is a hedgehog. All right, now you got one more. It's not required. <laughs> you got one more? <laughs> Even though, wait, I just thought about it. Amy wears a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Rouge got all clothes? Rouge got all clothes. She got a whole Oh, yeah. You, a, yeah. A, she, a, she, she, better, she better be wearing clothes. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, that game will go from, uh, from PG to <laughs> yeah, that, that game. Oh, hey, so shout out to... Um, the sound, uh, the the artist on Sonic Adventure Bouts because he did his work. I will give him a hundred percent credit. Y'all need to pay him for sure. All right, uh, one more. Mm. F- best dress and um, freshest. I mean, uh, best dress and best dancer. Mm. Let's go with. Oh yeah, yeah. Now this is this gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. You say it's gonna yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Super Vegito. He's, he's pretty fresh dressed. Super Vegito. Fret, look, I had a screensaver. Mm-hmm. Right? I set that mug. The dude with the jacket, the little orange on that thing. Just standing there just on No, that's that's Gogeta. Gogeta. Oh, yeah. Vegito but Vegito, yeah, Vegito is pretty fresh. Yeah, yeah. Both, both of them fresh, but I, yeah. I, I meant Gogeta, my bad. My bad. I meant Gogeta. Super Gogeta. Okay, okay. 
Um, he, yeah, he, I, I can see him being a good dancer. He'd be hard to beat. Yeah, he'd that, be hard to beat. That, that man looked too fresh, man. Um, Gojo. Mm. I think Gojo would be pretty good. You know the funny thing fresh about dress. Gojo? He's, he's fresh, but he's like low-key. He's not humble. Yeah. But he's low-key when he's just there. You know, like he's not really in your face about everything. But as soon as he starts talking, you have a conversation. Oh, yeah, you can't beat me. <laughs> yeah, you can't beat me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, you can't beat me. You can't. Just next subject. Next subject. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty much it. But appreciate the show. Uh, hope you guys like what y'all see. Like, subscribe. Uh, comment in the section below. Who do you think is the best dress? Who's the best dancer? For real. And um, we need to know. Yeah. And also make sure you show up to the events. And actually, this is a point that we want to bring up because we haven't brought up all the events coming up this year on the Rad Tour track. Ooh. Um, just made that up. But we have the Ether coming up Ether. April 28th. So that's still on the books. So y'all make sure y'all show up. Oh, my God. It's Rad. They're throwing Ether again. <laughs> are we shocked? Yes, we are. Oof. Because... Yeah, um, just, you know, just from like a humble perspective, Jeffro's been killing it and he's organized this event with Fit Break uh, at the uh, North American Fitness Convention. Yeah, that's that's going to be big. And um, yeah, it's it, he hosts this whole thing with um, this whole fitness expo um, and they do it once a year. And it's it's really dope. It's really cool to see, especially with his implementation of breaking and fitness and bringing that to the fitness world and kind of clashing the two together. So big shout out for that. Breaking um, and fitness really combined, that. man, getting people into it. And then ladies and gentlemen, mm. we have a big announcement for you guys and we can't tell you too much, but the hot pot will be going live with its own event this year in 2024. Let's go. So, yeah, you guys be on the lookout for the Hot Pot Jam uh, coming up uh, soon after the Fit Break Breaking Championships at the end of July. So just make sure you save the date. Save so, the date. So end yeah. of July. End of July. So lock it in. Um, all right. But that's pretty much the episode. So like, subscribe. And I know you heard this part before. But, I mean, y'all know me. Actually, y'all need me to tell you anything else. That's it. You got five.